The following film is the video portion of an E64 lesson. E64 is the computerized curriculum designed for home schools, Christian schools, family worship, Sunday schools, and church Bible study groups. For more information, visit the website at www.e6-4.com. In Isaiah chapter 1, we read, Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. Color is a precious gift from God. We use color to help determine the condition of things, to identify things, and to mark things. And as Isaiah reminds us, the ability to change things from one color to another can be important. But what is color? Color is something that is perceived by the human eye. When different wavelengths and intensities of light are processed and transmitted to the brain by the eye and the optic nerve, the brain perceives these signals as colors. Objects appear to be different colors because they reflect light in different ways. The more frequencies of light that an object reflects, the lighter the color. An object that reflects all the frequencies appears white. So white is not properly a color, rather white is all the colors combined. However, in common usage, white is thought of as one of the main colors. Conversely, the more frequencies of light that an object absorbs, the darker the color. An object that absorbs all the frequencies and does not reflect any light appears black. So black is also not properly a color, rather Black is no color at all. However, in common usage, black is thought of as one of the main colors as well. Black is the opposite of white. The science of color is sometimes called chromatics, chromatography, colorimetry, or simply color sounds. There are four main branches of color sounds. The first studies the perception of color by the human eye and the brain. The second studies the origin of color in materials including the physics of an object in its environment. The third is often referred to as color theory, which provides practical guidance to color mixing and the visual impacts of specific color combinations. And fourthly, the physics of light, since light is electromagnetic radiation that we can see with the eye. Let's talk for a moment about the third branch of color science, color theory. Color theory provides guidance to a wide range of vocations and avocations. Artists, manufacturers of dyes and paints, interior designers, graphic artists, all of these rely on the principles of color theory. The foundations of color theory were built around the concept of pure or ideal colors. It was discovered that three of these pure colors can be used to create a large number of other colors by mixing them in various ratios. These colors that are mixed to create other colors are called primary colors. The definition of the word primary is first in order or first in importance. These primary colors are the starting points for color mixing systems. So what are the primary colors? This is where the study gets a little tricky. Early work in color theory was done using paints and dyes which contain pigments. A pigment changes the perceived color of an object by absorbing certain frequencies of light and reflecting others. The reflected frequencies are the ones that your eye sees and perceives at a particular color. Now, if we add a pigment of another color by mixing two dyes or paints together, this second pigment absorbs additional frequencies, meaning there are fewer frequencies reflected this changes the color. If you continue to add more pigments of different colors, then more and more frequencies will be absorbed until eventually you will get black. This process of subtracting color frequencies by adding additional pigments is known as subtractive color mixing. Subtractive color mixing is used when dealing with paints, dyes, or inks. Traditionally, the three primary colors in a subtractive system are red, yellow, and blue. Printers have developed particular shades of red and blue, which make for very vivid and precise colors when inks are mixed together. 
This red is called magenta, and the blue is called cyan. Modern printing systems use a four-color printing process referred to as CMYK. In many commercial color printing presses, the paper provides the white color, and four plates are used to imprint the image on the paper. Blue ink is applied with a cyan plate. Red ink is applied with the magenta plate. Yellow ink is applied with the yellow plate. And all these are carefully keyed to the key plate, which prints black. Cyan, magenta, yellow, and key. Remember, CMYK is a subtractive color mixing system, which means that it is based on the fact that adding of pigments to an object, such as a piece of paper, changes color by subtracting from the frequencies of light reflected by the object. The other system is called additive color mixing. An additive system changes colors by adding new frequencies of light by adding light sources. Additive color mixing is used in television and computer displays where light sources are combined to create varying colors. Up through the beginning of the 21st century, additive color systems used a combination of red, green, and blue to create color images. This additive color system is known as RGB. So the two major color mixing systems in use in the year 2012 are the subtractive and the additive systems. Subtractive systems subtract frequencies of reflected light by adding pigments which absorb certain frequencies. Additive systems add frequencies by combining light sources. Subtractive color mixing systems traditionally use red, yellow, and blue as the primary colors, mixing these three colors to create other colors. Additive color mixing systems traditionally use red, green, and blue as the primary colors, using combinations of lights in these three colors to create other colors. It was once believed that the mixing of the three primary colors could create all of the other possible colors. We are now able to show that it is not possible to produce all of the colors visible to the normal eye through the combination of just three colors. For example, let's take a look at this graph. The area shaded in gray represents the range of colors that can be distinguished by the normal human eye. The triangle inside this area represents the colors that can be produced by the red, green, and blue lights of a typical CRT or cathode ray tube, like the ones used by television sets and computer monitors at the turn of the 21st century. Notice that the three points of the triangle are pure blue, pure red, and pure green. These three points create the boundaries for a subset of colors called a gamut. The gamut of colors that can be produced by mixing red, green, and blue lights are all the colors that lie within the triangle. As of 2012, television and computer monitor manufacturers are beginning to produce devices that use four primary colors, red, green, blue, and yellow. These new LED prototypes are reported to produce a gamut of colors that includes about 87% of the colors visible to the human eye. Considering the things we've learned today about color mixing, what conclusions can we draw that will have eternal significance? We have learned that when an object reflects all the frequencies of light, it appears white. And since God made man in his own image, in the beginning man perfectly reflected the light of God. The soul of man could be considered white, since it reflected all the glory of God. But the pigment of sin introduced a subtractive color mixture to man's soul. Sin subtracts from man the things that reflect God's glory and leaves only those things that reflect the baser elements. But Christ came to introduce an additive color process. 1 John chapter 1 tells us that God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. By the power of the cross... Christ desires to dwell within you through his Holy Spirit, removing the pigment of sin and adding the pure white light of God. And so I leave you with this invitation from the Lord. Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool.
The film you have just watched is the video portion of an E64 lesson. E64 is the software curriculum that provides education with a strong biblical worldview. Be sure to visit the website at www.e6-4.com and sign up for our newsletter to stay informed about new lessons available or special events. One of the many features of E64 is the student directed learning mode where the student is free to choose from dozens of lessons in over 20 categories including math, reading, history, science, and the Bible. Another feature is the father directed learning mode where a father or classroom teacher can create an individualized lesson plan for each student and the software will teach the student one section at a time keeping records of his progress. A third feature is the family worship mode which is ideal for family worship, school chapel services, family Sunday school classes, or church Bible study groups. Once you set up your lesson plan, this mode offers instruction and catechism one lesson section at a time. Reminds you to do prayer, thanksgiving and praise, Bible memorization, and includes a complete music section with songs and hymns for worship. Each song can be played with or without the vocals. Another E64 feature is the competition mode, where you create a lesson plan and the program randomly selects question sets from the lessons to create a fun and exciting competition, which can be as small as the competition our family does every day in our daily family worship to as large as the Southeast Bible competition we conducted with multiple rounds and prizes including a new laptop computer and tickets to a major theme park. Another feature is Apples of Gold, a computerized parlor game for more advanced students where two clue givers devise clues to help their teams come up with a phrase from the Bible. To purchase the E64 software visit the website at www e 6 4com To schedule the Homeschool Advantage, to come to your church or homeschool conference, and teach your people how to use computer software to build strong biblical households, contact Captain Brett at 678-570-2195 or email terabenth at inbox.com.